Welcome to this top 5 video. This episode is going to be about the prehistoric flying reptiles that lived at the same time as the dinosaurs. Just to clarify, none of the animals in this video are actually dinosaurs, but are relatives of them. Here are the top 5 pterosaurs. Number 1. Dimorphodon Dimorphodon was first discovered in December of 1828 by the famous English fossil hunter Mary Anning. The pterosaur was later named and described in 1859 by paleontologist Sir Richard Owen. Dimorphodon means two-formed tooth, which is a reference to the animal having two very different types of teeth in its jaws. According to Richard Owen, Dimorphodon's morphology is quite primitive, due to it having proportionally short wings. The pterosaur was relatively small, with a length of 1 meter when fully grown and a wingspan of 1.45 meters. However, Dimorphodon's skull was large, at a length of 23 centimeters. Although it possessed this big skull, the weight of it was decreased due to the presence of sizable fenestrae. Dimorphodon likely inhabited coastal areas, and it has been suggested that it fed on insects, but would also prey on small vertebrates and carrion. Number 2. Rampharynchus Rampharynchus, meaning beak snout, lived about 150 million years ago in the late Jurassic. The largest specimen of the pterosaur has a length of 1.26 meters, with a wingspan of 1.81 meters. Rampharynchus's needle-like teeth projected forwards and created a mesh when the jaws closed together, which implies a diet of fish and perhaps insects. Some incredible fossils of this pterosaur have been discovered in the Solnhofen limestone in Germany, even preserving tissue imprints of wing membranes. Rampharynchus possessed a very long, stiffened tail that ended with a vein roughly the shape of a diamond. There is also evidence that Rampharynchus may have been a nocturnal animal, as its sclerotic rings have been compared to those of modern birds and reptiles. Number 3. Quetzalcoatlus Quetzalcoatlus lived during the very end of the Cretaceous, at a time known as the Maastrichtian stage. It is the largest known member of the Asdarkidae family, an advanced clade of pterosaurs lacking teeth and possessing long, stiffened necks. Quetzalcoatlus was named after the Aztec feathered serpent god Quetzalcoatl. This enormous pterosaur has an estimated wingspan of 10 to 11 meters, however working out a mass for the animal is difficult, as there are no species alive at the moment with a similar body plan to the pterosaur. Many different theories have been put forward as to how the animal fed, but the most likely one is that Quetzalcoatlus and other Asdarkids hunted on land, preying on small vertebrates. This was proposed by Mark Witten and Darren Nash in 2008, supported by the fact that Quetzalcoatlus has limb proportions more like today's ungulates than to other smaller pterosaurs. Number 4. Ornithochirus Ornithochirus, meaning bird hand, has been discovered in Britain, as well as possibly Brazil. However, it is not certain whether the specimens from Brazil are of Ornithochirus or another species. Ornithochirus was a large pterosaur, reaching a wingspan of about 5 metres in some cases, and lived during the late Cretaceous. It was given its name by a young researcher called Harry Seeley in the 19th century, who believed that pterosaurs were the ancestors of birds. He therefore saw Ornithochirus's hands as an evolutionary step towards bird hands. Seeley had also originally named an incredible total of 28 different species of Ornithochirus, however now the genus is thought to only include one species. The pterosaur possesses a unique convex crest on its upper and lower jaw, and has a straight rostrum that narrows at the end. The jaws would have been filled with vertical teeth, which didn't stick out sideways like in other species. Ornithochirus was featured in the Walking with Dinosaurs episode's Giant of the Skies, however the episode showed a species of the pterosaur that is no longer classified as Ornithochirus. Number 5. Pteranodon Pteranodon lived during the late Cretaceous of North America, and means winged and toothless, for obvious reasons. It was a large animal, with a wingspan that could reach over 6 meters in males, and around 4 meters in females. Pteranodon is an incredibly well-studied animal, due to the enormous number of fossils of the pterosaur that have been discovered. Approximately 1,200 specimens are known of. The shape of Pteranodon's wings indicate that it most likely flew in a similar way to albatrosses, soaring across seas without much flapping of the wings as it hunted for fish. Evidence of feeding on fish is shown by fossilised bones found in the stomach area of a Pteranodon fossil. An interesting feature of the pterosaur is its long pointed crest. There have been many theories as to what its use could be, however since it varies greatly depending on the age and sex of the individual, it almost certainly was used as a display, 
since the changes eliminate most other uses. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Remember, you can follow me on social media by clicking the links in the description, and subscribe for more videos like this one.